juvenile court. They made they they took me out of my mother's home. They made me a ward of Washington State, which was very rare in those days to take a child and make them a ward of the state. And so I always told everybody that my, I didn't have parents. I, I belonged to the state of Washington. That's how I looked at it as a kid. And they put me in Briscoe's boys home. I had been there not very long. I was going through counseling and talking to a guy by the name of Brother Morris. I remember him. And then first time I took a shower, I remember somebody getting in the shower with me and scrubbed me from my neck down and scrubbed me between my legs and my butt. And then the molestation started from there until I was taken out of Briscoe. For years, I thought it was a nun. I was so young, I thought it was a woman in a skirt. It was a Catholic in a flock. But for years, it was a, it was a, it was a girl. That's important. It was a girl. It was important to me that it was a girl. Then, the old boys started coming after us because we're 12, 13, 14, and we got boys coming after us that were being sexually molested by the, it was a, I found out years later in research and stuff, and I hired a detective, was that Briscoe was, an, was ran by the Irish Catholic, and it wasn't Catholic ordained ministers, it was men of, that were, um, sworn to the church underneath the ministers. Kind of like a deacon nowadays. It was them that were doing it. Years later, I told you earlier that in 2004, I believe it was, they lost a lawsuit of millions of dollars to some of the guys that are survivors. I was not part of that. I'm not going to lie, I would have been a part of it. 